This is a video on finding the surface area of revolution. The question states, find the area of the surface generated by revolving the curve about A, the x-axis, and B, the y-axis. And we have the parametric equations, x is equal to t squared plus 1, and y equals t cubed plus t. And t goes between 0 and 1. So first let's recall the formulas to find the surface area of revolution about the x-axis and the y-axis. And what we have is that the surface area of revolution about the x-axis is equal to the integral from a to b of g of t, where g of t is what y equals to, times the square root of dx over dt quantity squared plus dy dt squared dt. And the surface area of revolution about the y-axis is equal to the integral from a to b of f of t, where f of t is what x is equal to, times the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared dt. So for both of these, I need to find dx dt and I need to find dy dt. So first, dx dt is the derivative of t squared plus 1, and that's just 2t. And dy dt is the derivative of t cubed plus t, and that's 3t squared plus 1. So now I just plug in, let's do part A first, and that's the surface area generated by revolving the curve around the x-axis. And what I get is that our surface area is equal to the integral from 0 to 1, because t is between 0 and 1, of g of t, which is t cubed plus t, times the square root of dx dt squared, or 2t squared, plus dy dt squared, or 3t squared plus 1, quantity squared, dt. So I put that into my calculator, and what I ended up getting was about 2.268. So that's part A. Now let's do part B, which is finding the surface area generated by revolving the curve around the y-axis. So I have my surface area is equal to the integral from A to B, or the integral from 0 to 1, of f of t, which is just t squared plus 1, times the square root of 2t quantity squared, plus 3t squared, plus 1 quantity squared, dt. And I put that into my calculator, and I got that the surface area formed by revolving the curve around the y-axis is about equal to 3.3. Zero six, and I'm done with the problem.